So when a person has finished answering the call of nature, and then after this a person has to cleanse that place from which the impurity was discharged. At and this is done either through water or stones, handkerchiefs, leaves or tissue. As for cleansing and purifying using water, this is clear. As for cleansing oneself using tissue, papers or handkerchiefs, there are certain conditions. The first condition is that this itself has to be pure. Uh, and also, the, the paper which you are using to cleanse yourself, it cannot be something which is يعني, respectable, meaning it cannot be a book or knowledge or, or musaf. And neither is a person permitted to use anything which is food of humans or beings or the animals of humans and jinn. And a person has to wipe himself three times. Either he uses three separate pieces of tissue, or if it's a long piece of paper or handkerchief, then he can use different parts three times. As for when a person cleanses himself once, then that part it has now become najas. And same with a stone. So the minimum amount of wipes that a person must wipe his private parts with is three. And if on this third time, the paper is dry, meaning there's no najasa and there's no wetness, then a person can stop. The person has considered or considers his private parts to be clean. However, if after the third time, there's st still some wetness of urine or there's some najasa from one's feces, then he continues until the paper or the handkerchief is dry. And if a person has finished wiping himself, for example, with six wipes or six stones or six handkerchiefs, then it's recommended for a person to stop on an odd number, not an even number. So he does it one more time. And also a person should not be affected by paranoia.